Spun, uh, Bullet Kid, and I'm uh, I'm actually doing this for my solidarity so that I remember how to do this later on and I have to do this recipe again because it should be fire. Um, I'm going to introduce you to something that's pretty boring as heck by itself, but when I show you how to doctor it up, you'll be straight with it. So this is, a uh, here you go here, get this at Walmart, I think it's like a dollar or ninety something. Uh, I'm on the keto diet, so this kind of works with me on the diet. So if you can look at that, it's six grams of uh, total carbs minus the three, and that's per half the container. So there are six carbs in this whole container. Uh, the container is yay large, it's pretty good. I've already went ahead and went through the parts of actually getting it cooked and all that stuff. So let me uh, tell you about what I'm all putting in this. So of course, on the keto diet, there's a lot of things that you can add in, you know, sour cream, uh, you can add in bacon, have bacon pieces, um, you can have cheese, uh, very low in carbs for the cheese here. Uh, use it as a drizzle type of deal, and then the bacon has zero carbs in it, period. So that's for the third game. Uh, I have sour cream in there, but I'm good on that today. Uh, seasonings that I'm gonna be using in this whole thing all right, so here we go. And I'll actually probably do it in front of you. Uh, got garlic salt, but I'm probably not gonna use that I'm trying to watch on the garlic, uh, keep my salt down. So I'm gonna use this, which is salt free. Have garlic powder, again, sparing it because I'm trying to keep my uh, sodium together, even though I'm on a keto diet. I have Italian seasoning, which has a little bit of salt in it, but has a lot of other herbs and stuff that's necessary extra parsley because I actually like parsley a lot and then paprika just for a little hint of flavor a little uh, hint of color as well so uh, I guess yeah let me go ahead and show you how I'm gonna go about doing this and then then you'll know so I'm gonna start with the table blend I'm gonna put the salt to the side go over lightly just enough for you to see a pretty good covering of specks in it then I'm gonna come with the garlic powder and yeah, a little bit. That should be cool. Very light. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and stir this in so it doesn't get lost in translation. Of course, I could have did it at the very end, but you know, preacher of heaven. It's already smelling a lot better than it was. Right, so make sure you catch the edges because it does get hotter there than it does in the center. And I did cook this from, uh, I ended up cooking this from frozen. So there's that. Uh, let's go with the, that's gonna be a garnish. Let's put a little bit more in there, Italian seasoning. Of course it's not open. I like to go pretty heavy on the Italian seasoning because it has all the other herbs that I'm missing and it makes it a little bit more earthy. Kind of like a uh, baked potato or mashed potatoes, which is the flavor that I'm actually going for. So that's there. And then hit it very lightly. Hit it very lightly with some smoked paprika, which is very different than the regular paprika. They taste way different. So keep that in mind. Give it a nice little stir. Make sure everything's all uniform in here. And then the last little piece is garnishing. Now you can do this however you want to. I tend to like my cheese directly on the uh, cauliflower because it melts a little bit better. And at the very end, uh, I reheat it to melt the cheese in a little bit more. Of course, I do like cheese, so judge me if you want. And I grab too much, so we out here though. Then finally, and so, and we're good to go. I'm also pairing this with a uh, barbecue chicken that I did yesterday on the grill. Those came out pretty good, pretty fire as well, right? So that's gonna be my meal, and that's gonna be what I'm prepping for the rest of the week as far as dinner goes. So I'm gonna be doing, I'll probably eat half of this cauliflower situation and then one whole uh, strip of chicken 
and then see how I feel after that. And I might hit the chicken one more time. Uh, make sure I drink at least three 20 ounces of water for the rest of the day. I think it's like five o'clock now. So got to get all this stuff done. So hopefully y'all dig this. Hope y'all learned something or maybe not. Maybe it's watching cook some old makeup something. But until next time, this is Alan Brown, AKA Bullet the Kid. Y'all be easy. Mm-hmm. What a pie. That's fine. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be close now.